I'll take it in, but don't look down Cause I'm on top of the world, eh? Hey. I'm on top of the world, eh? Hey. Waiting on this for a while now Playing my dues to the dirt I've been waiting to smile, eh? Hey. Been holding it in for a while, eh? Hey. Take you with me if I can Been dreaming of this since a child It's Victoria and I'm here for yet again another episode on this channel. It's only the second one, but that's fine. Um, and so today, following the subject of my first video that I did, I've decided to do another instrument interview. And that time, no, oh, sorry. Um, this time it is with my guitar. So I'm super excited with this because as you guys know, I love music, a latte, and I have a really cute mug here to share with you guys. So it's really, it's kind of like a blend between a mug and like a coffee cup, so I don't know what to call it, but it's got a nice lid here so I don't spill everywhere because I'm known for doing that. And it's so cute because it's fall themed. It says good morning pumpkin. You guys, that is, that's adorable. So, have beautiful fall mug and it's great we love it I also have a plant friend joining us today and it is awesome you're gonna love it what is this it's a pot ah <laughs> sorry um so right here is the plant friend and it's randomly got another flower sticking out of the side of it because it's growing a flower apparently. <laughs> and so this is the plant friend. And I have this cute painted pot that we painted. And I think it's pretty darn cute because it's been a few days since I got it. And no, it's not fake. And I just feel like the plant needs a name because if I go too long without a name, I just feel like it's not as special. And it needs to be my special little plant. So, if you guys would do the awesome favor of commenting down below in the comment section. <laughs> in the comment section about what you think I should call this amazing little plant. Okay, so this is my guitar. And right now I have a pick in it. But this is my guitar, and I have not yet chosen a name for the guitar either. You can see the lights in my room and the shadow of the guitar because it's so like reflective. Oh, there's my little plant <laughs> and the tripod. Um, so yeah, and it's got a beautiful color. I mean, I love it a lot. It's called Blue Burst. That's the name of the color. And so it's got like sides, and there's just of course the normal natural ivy uh, ivory <laughs> there and so yeah and the strings are steel and they do work really well and the tuners are very high quality like they're not loose at all and they stay in tune moderately well but I haven't had this guitar for that long either so that does play a huge difference and so I've not tuned this since a few days ago but I'll just give you a little bit of a example of what the strings sound like. And so this is the head of it right here and it of course has the brand name right there which is R.W. Jameson and so that's on there and then I've also kind of scraped it a little bit which is really sad but I'm a little bit rough with my instruments so yeah. Um, this guitar itself is an acoustic electric acoustic electric guitar. Um, you may or may not have noticed that there are these little slides. Yes, they're so fun to play with. And, um, and you may have noticed the sound hole. And this kind of, both of these things mean that it's an acoustic, but it's also electric because you can plug it into an amp using this handy dandy oh that's the wrong thing i'm so sorry 
handy dandy amp plugger in her. That, this is the guitar strap thingy. I'm very sorry. <laughs> um, so yeah, and that's what that looks like. It is of course the same finish all the way around and I have not painted this. I did paint my, hitting me on the ceiling. I did paint my ukulele, but I did not paint the back of this guitar, so it is normal. And I've also not attached a strap yet. I will be doing that pretty soon because I'm kind of tired of holding it. <laughs> it's a lot of work. And so, yeah, um, the frets are spaced about for about three of my fingers width, I would say. But, yeah. And that that's a lot bigger than ukulele, definitely. So that gave, did give me a bit of grief at the beginning. But I got used to it. And overall, I love this guitar. And it is a little bit bulkier, but it did sell as a thin line guitar, which is, of course, talking about the distance from here to here. And that's not that much, probably a good five inches. And I would say that's not that much, but it's really nice. And the back of it took some getting used to, but it's about the normal size of a guitar for that section of it. And honestly, if this were out of 10, I would give this guitar a good eight. It is very good and has quickly become one of my favorite instruments. So that's it for this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this, and if you did, please like and subscribe, and that would help me out so much, and so, yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day, but that your music is even greater. Here's me signing out, because I love music. A latte.